St. John chapter 6, verse 63, and it reads, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakodash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The Lord quickened us. I mean, the Lord made us live again through this word. We was dead. Matter of fact, let me go here right quick. I'm going to come right back. We got to be more thankful too, Israel. We was dead. Let's get, let's, get, let's get what that means right quick. Spiritually dead. I want to get this. It's Proverbs. Let's get this right quick. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. And it reads, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16, it reads, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So the Israelites that don't have this knowledge, they're still dead, even though they're walking around. They're dead spiritually to who they are, to who their power is. And you can see it too. You can see it too, going right back to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, when it goes into um, those um, dry bones. Can these bones live? We can make these bones, and it's talking about the house of Israel, which you read down through the chapter, it tells you that clearly that those dry bones in that low land in Babylon, the great represents the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans being in a dead state. And what makes them live? What brings the children of Israel out of that dead state? The word, the word, I read it, St. John chapter 6, verse 63. The Lord quickened us through this word, through the men being out there on the highways and byways, reading the scriptures, and then the Lord, you no know, saying, quicken who he want to quicken. If the Lord wants you to stay in that dead state, and that's a scary thing about it, starting to truly, um, really realize how important Lord Yahweh Shai is, man, who they're going to call Jesus. He's the one that's actually quickened us. He is the one that actually made us live again through this word. But then you got guys talking about some they don't want to they don't want to worship Yahweh Shah. Are you serious? He's the one that made it possible for us to even receive the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. He had to lay down his life. Shed blood. Let's get this though one more time. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The man, and I'm gonna prove what I said too. About when I when I stated that Lord Yahweh Shai is, is the only one that that can quicken us, make us a made us make us live again. You see, and I'm excited, thankful, past excited. Really, if you think about it, you see, can't thank the Lord enough. So we just we, only way we can pay the Lord back is just do, preaching this word, man. It's the only way. Try to pay him back anyway. Let's get this Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. It reads, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, the understanding of the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Look, what shall be the stability of thy time? Man, when, you, when you really think about it, it's, it's really heavy, though. Like the Lord quickening us, making us live again through this word is the only thing that's going to keep us stable. The knowledge, wisdom, under, all the scriptures linking up. The Isaiah 33 and 6, St. John 6, 63, this Proverbs 21, 16, that, um, what is it, Revelation, Revelation um, 11 and 11, Proverbs 21, 16, the man, the Israelite man, that wanted out of the way of understanding of the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures shall remain in the congregation of the dead, which represents the heathen nations. They wasn't given the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. We were. We were. The Hebrew Israelites, and I, and I made a statement, so I want to get it right quick. I want to get it right quick. This St. John, 
We're starting to truly realize how important Lord Yahweh Shai is. For real, for real. St. John chapter 5. Let's see. 21. St. John chapter 5, verse 21. And it reads, For as the Father raised up the dead and quickeneth them, make, make if them live again, because the word quickeneth means to make alive, even so the Son, Yahweh Shai, quickeneth whom he will. So the Lord will wake up whoever he want to deny his wisdom, understanding the scriptures. The Israelites that still sleep in that dead state, spiritually dead, Lord Yahweh Shai didn't quicken them. He didn't make them live by hearing his word, by putting his word in them, by having them receive this word. And, and that's a scary thing, too. It, it, it truly is a fearful thing to fall in the, in the phone chime. In. It truly is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living Paul. You can't quicken yourself. You can't make yourself receive this word. You can't even make someone else receive the word. When you receive the word, you can't even make somebody else receive the word. You receive the word because of Lord Yahweh. Once again, St. John chapter 5, verse 21. For as the Father raised up, up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. So the only way you're going to wake up to the fact of who you are, the only way you're going to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of your ability, the only way you're going to be able to go out there and teach this blessed word is through Lord Yahweh Shai. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm reading it right here. So let's go right back. Let's go right back. Let's go right back. St. John 6. St. John chapter 6. Verse 63. And remember, they that wander out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You see how people, that, uh, henceforth that movie, well, henceforth that TV show, um, The Walking Dead, that represented Israel. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. I, I quoted Revelation. Let's just get it. That represented the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. You saw how dead, how zombified they were. And, our, and look, look, you saw how zombified, you know what I'm saying, those people were on that show. Now look at the Israelites just walking around, Babylon and Great. Look how zombified they are without the knowledge. Look at them, man. And once again, we know you don't want to, but look at them. Look at them. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, and it reads, And their dead bodies, spiritually dead, remember? Remember I read Proverbs 21 and 16? They that wander out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, so dead spiritually. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, the great city representing Babylon and great America, which spiritually is, is called Sodom and Egypt. And you know what they was doing in Sodom. And you, you know what was going on in Egypt. The Israelites were serving hardcore bondage, right? In Sodom, they was doing all kind of debauchery. You know what I'm saying? Sodomy. You, you know what it is. So this great city. It was Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified, meaning X'd out. But the point I'm making in this scripture right here is the, is the dead bodies, spiritually dead. You see? And their dead bodies, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans not knowing who they are. They're considered dead. They have one out of the way of understanding, shall lie in the street of the great city, Babylon the Great, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So let's go right back. Let's go right on back. But now the Lord has quickened us, right? St. John 6, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, that makes you alive, right? The flesh profit of nothing. That's why going right back to um, Romans chapter 8, verse 16, it says, it's, it's the, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yasha Allah. We're the children of the Lord. I mean, you got the, uh, you got the majority of these Israelite groups, they look on the outer appearance. No. The spirit bear witness who, who we are according to the scriptures. Not what a person looks like. You, you know, the, the flavor, the salt, 
If you can receive the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture, that's only for Israel. Going right back to Psalms 147 and 19 and, and many other scriptures. Because the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible were only given to the children of Israel. And the Lord never changed. It didn't never change. It's always been that way. Now, once you heathens, once, once Babylon the Great goes down and we get you heathens into captivity, you got to learn our ways most definitely. You got to learn our ways. You're not going to get it perfect, but you're going to show enough rehearsal. And once you get out of line, that hammer going to go down. Once again, St. John 6, 63, because this scripture right here is most definitely important. The Lord made us live again. That's the whole basis of this lesson. The Lord made us live again through this word. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, the words, Israel, see how important these words are? See how important it is to, to be able to receive and be allowed to receive this word? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. So we're quickening us the word. They are spirit and they are life. What makes us live again? This word. Who's the word? Lord Yahweh Shai. Lord Yahweh Shai, right? Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, I want to get this. I want to get this. Matter of fact, I'm already on it. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. Let's get this. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11, and it reads, And after three days and a half, 350 years, from 1619 to 1968, 69, right? That's that three days and a half, right? And look, it says, after, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life, which showed you what the spirit was, the word, right? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? The spirit of life from the heavenly father, Yahweh, into, into them, into the Hebrew Israelites, right? Those dry bones um, going to um, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, right? And they stood upon their feet. No longer calling ourselves black. No, no longer calling ourselves um, Native American Indian, Latino, but Yasha Allah. And they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. When they seen the men of the Lord on the highways and byways proclaiming their nationality again. That put fear in these heathens, starting off with the elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs. Because the elder apostles always go into the account, you know what I'm saying, of, of one of the um the elites, you know what I'm saying, stopping that there was they was, I forgot what strip they was on. It might have been 34th and 7th or another one, but a, a big giant limo, a big giant black limo pulled up and stopped. And a, and a dude, you know what I'm saying, you can see, you, they could see it was a guy of importance, got out, slammed the door, walked up to them and said, how did y'all get this information? We paid billions of dollars to keep this knowledge from you. You see, what knowledge, the knowledge of who we are, all right? The knowledge of who we are, being the Hebrew Israelites, being the biblical Hebrew Israelites, Going right back to 80, um, Psalms 83, all these different heathens came together with one consent that, na that the name of Israel would be no more in remembrance. They buried our nationality up under the ground, man, and gave us by words, proverbs, and that's going right back into the curses. Going right back into, and, and my watch chiming in, going right back into Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter of us being called by words and proverbs, black, Latino, Native American Indian. Uh, African American, uh, Afro Latino, those are by words and proverbs. That they, they ain't holding no weight, but Yasha Allah hold all the weight. Being a prince of the power, that holds all the weight. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the heavenly Father Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. That's why that's why one of those elites said um, the internet was the worst thing they could have ever created. Because the internet, you know what I'm saying, uh, started revealing a whole lot. The men of the Lord was able to put these videos up, you know what I'm saying, push forth this message as the scripture said it was going to happen anyway. And this gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth and then shall the income. How did it do that? By way of the internet.
A whole lot of us um, was quickened through the word by way of the Internet. The Lord made us live by way of seeing these videos. And now great fear, you know what I'm saying, then fell upon these people seeing that we're screaming out Yasha Allah and bringing out the 100% truth according to the Bible. It's beautiful. They're, they're trembling in their boots, man. And I, I want to get this. Let's go right back to St. John, the fifth chapter. St. John chapter 5, just going into how um, the importance of us receiving this word, us being quickened, because you know we was dead. Let's get this St. John chapter 5, go right back here. St. John chapter 5, the 25th verse now though. St. John chapter 5, verse 25, and it reads, Verily, verily, truly, truly, red letter, Lord Yahweh shall speak in who they're going to call Jesus, right? Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead, spiritually dead, right? Because remember, they that wander out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, right? When the dead, remember those dry bones? Ezekiel 37th chapter. When the dead shall hear the voice of the son of the living power by way of the prophets, and they shall, and they that hear shall live. You see that? They're going to live because they're dead spiritually. They're going to be quickened. They're going to be made alive through this word by hearing this word. That's powerful right there, right? It says, and they that hear, hear this word, shall live. So, so we're truly starting to understand, you know, say how important Lord Yahweh Shai is and how important it is to receive this word. Hey, you can't, you can't beat that, man. Let's see. Let's let's see what else. I got a couple more scriptures. Then I'm gonna wrap it up. Let's see. Bear bear with me. Ephesians chapter two verse one and it reads, "And you hath he quickened, remain remember made alive again, right? Who were dead and trespasses and in sin, breaking the laws, statutes, or commandments, do doing the most." Doing the most, right? Remember, we used to be like that, remember? Remember? It says, when in, it says, wherein in times past you walked according to the course of this world. Remember, we were celebrating Christmas. We was eating pork, stealing, lying, what, what have you. Doing the most, right? Who who knows, right? Look, look, look. So, uh, celebrating um, Christmas. Thanks, stealing, Easter, uh, Halloween, all that, right? Chasing fortune and fame. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, <clears throat> the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. That used to be us, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and where by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So we used to be in that same mind state. Really don't know what. But this word quickeners. This word um, made us realize the error of our ways. It made us turn back and repent. And, and that's because of Lord Yahweh Shai. Remember, he quickeneth who he will. Remember I read that in St. John, the fifth chapter. He quickeneth whom he will. So let's see what else. <clears throat> um... I mean, and I can read all the way through, all the way to verse 10, but I'm just hitting some points right quick. How important is the Lord, how important the Lord Yahweh Shai is. He's the one that quickened us. He is the one that made us live through this word. So yeah, I'm not even going to beat a dead horse. I just want to um, hit, hit some points to show the importance of Lord Yahweh Shai and how important it is to receive this blessed word. It truly is a blessing. Because remember, we was all dead at one time. We was part of that dry bones in that valley. 
know what I'm saying? They didn't have no breath. They didn't have no skin. And so forth and so on. Matter of fact, I do got one more. Got one more. Let's see. First John chapter 4. Let's get this right quick. First John chapter 4. Let's see. Just prove, just backing up the point. It's going to just back up everything that I've been saying about Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus. First John chapter 4, verse 9, and it reads, And this was manifested, was made known, right? The word manifest means to make known, make clear, right? The love of the Heavenly Father Yahweh toward us, because that the Heavenly Father Yahweh sent his only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, into the world that we might live through him that we might live through him be quickened through him through this word so yeah lord one of the hopeful elect of the nation of israel was edified quickened by the word giving all praise honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Shalom.